everybody, what's up? It's Kylie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 10 things that annoy me, or I might call it my top 10 pet peeves. That's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started to the video. Number one, when someone calls me and they are distracted. So they could be doing literally anything else but listening to me, or we're just sitting, listening to each other breathe while we're both doing something else. Like this phone call is super unnecessary. It's annoying and I just don't like it. I, I, I don't like it. I'd rather text you than listen to you breathe on the phone. That's freaking annoying. I freaking hate when people are rude to nice people. Like, why are you so nasty and freaking rude? No one asked for that, especially to nice people. I used to work at a fast food restaurant and drive throughs I'd be so polite over the intercom, polite when they pull up to the window, and people still have a toot and stuff. <laughs> Here's my card. Girl, if you don't calm down, take that toot to Burger King. Another thing that I freaking hate is when people touch my hair or my face. Especially my face. Oh, I don't know where people's dirty hands have been. I don't like touching my own face sometimes because your hands are always dirty and that's how you spread germs, get acne. I don't, don't touch my face. Do not touch my hair. Curly hair, I feel like people don't understand that it gets frizzy just from the slightest bit of touch. Do not touch my hair. Don't touch my hair, don't touch my face. Another thing that I really, really, really hate, and I've felt this on so many levels, it used to be all over Twitter and stuff like that, about how people should tip their servers 20% or higher. I'm about to go in, I'm gonna put the phone down. Look here, you go to a restaurant, you have amazing service, doesn't even need to be amazing, it was great, like it was good, it was whatever. It's like any other time that you go. If you didn't have a single problem with it, why would you not tip them 20%? You guys know, like when you go to a restaurant, server is literally only being paid like five something an hour. Sometimes it's cheaper in different places and then you don't wanna give them the 20%. We take that home and we are sitting there for hours, we're on our feet, we're running around, restaurants are crazy, I know you guys seen it. It's it's very stressful and it's a stressful environment. That's why I do not work at one anymore. But it's just so frustrating to like give somebody the best service that you possibly could, even if it's not the greatest, and then they don't tip you 20%. At the least, 18%. If it's not great, don't tip at all. I really don't care. I mean, I've been in that situation where I wasn't the best server ever and I really didn't expect great tip, but give me something you guys have to realize we are i don't work at one anymore but you guys have to realize that that is how they're making their income they can't pay the bills off of two dollars off of 80 like get your little smartphone out this is a smartphone you click on it you go all the way to your calculator you can type say your bill was 50 26 you're gonna times it by point 20 and it shows you what to tip ten dollars should have been sorry ten dollars should be the tip just tip 20 percent especially those kids who you sit oh you know what else pisses me off oh it didn't it doesn't even need this when you're a server and you're talking to a table and they're talking so much you're like wow this tip is about to be hella good because this person is talking my ear off when i have like nine other tables to be tending to then these people will not tip you 20 percent or even higher like sometimes you're having such a great conversation with the table you feel like they're gonna tip you so nicely and then they Tip your server. Some of them have bills to pay. Do not go sit down and eat somewhere and not tip 20%. What? Why would you not? Why would you not? Anyway, I could talk about that forever. Next, 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 next. Another thing I really hate is people with road rage. I have road rage, but I'm not the one that will flick you off if you're driving too slow or honk my horn like I don't like using any of that because I've heard too many stories about people getting murdered and killed and things like that so I just don't like people who are those type of people that is my pet peeve like you never know who you're driving next to I could pull out a gun and sh no, I would never do that but I'm just saying I don't like people with road age you are the reason why accidents happen you need to calm it down a notch bring it down like you're at a 10 I need you at a 2 bring it down I really hate when you go and show somebody <laughs> a picture on your phone. Literally just show them anything on your phone and it's just the one thing you're showing. And then they'll start like swiping through. Like, you don't know what's on my phone. 
I wanted to show you just the meme of the thing, you know? No, you don't need to see. There's some things on here that just nobody needs to see besides me and whoever else I want to show it to. So that's a pet peeve of mine. Do not scroll through my phone, especially when I'm showing you one thing. If I say swipe once, swipe twice, left or right, that's when you can do it. But otherwise, if I don't say it, don't do it. I really, really hate when people tell me, Girl, are you okay? You look tired today. Bitch, did you just... What the... That is just one thing I really do not like. Why would you tell somebody that they look tired today? I feel like that's just not nice. That's rude. Basically, you're telling me I'm ugly. I need to go back to bed. Get my beauty rest because you just look in a hot ass mess today. Don't tell me I look tired. <laughs> I hate when people ask me what's wrong a million times. There's a thing about me that I will let you guys know. I have resting bitch face. It's very hard. I've been living with it my whole entire life and I just, it's really hard sometimes. Anyway, scratch all that. I have resting bitch face. I look pissed all the time, but you don't need to ask me what's wrong. I will get over it. I will work through it. Do not ask me what's wrong, especially just because if I look mad. Because I most of the time I'm not even mad. It's just my face. Like I don't walk around like, hey guys, hey. <laughs> like I will literally just walk around like this. People tell me all the time, never wanted to approach you because you look mean. You look so mean. And it's just, I'm sorry. I'm actually pretty nice, but my face, you will never tell by my face. Don't ask me what's wrong. I really, really hate this. It's like super big on Twitter right now too. Maybe not right now, but I used to see it a lot. Why do you guys hate on girls who wear makeup? What's wrong with makeup? Why can't a girl feel good in her own skin and just make herself feel beautiful like what's wrong with that people want to hate on that so much and that irks me so bad if you don't want to wear makeup that's perfect if your man doesn't like you wearing makeup freak him first of all he probably saw you with makeup and thought you look beautiful and now he's going to tell you not to wear makeup that's just one thing that mm, bothers me 99 percent of the time they're wearing makeup because they want to feel more confident about themselves they like it on themselves they like doing it some people like it because it's like artistic in a way like it's nothing to do with guys it's nothing to do with pleasing other people it's because we like it so if you don't like it that right there the door follow it another thing i really hate is loud chewing and loud slurping in restaurants, most of the time you can't really hear it, but me working at a restaurant, I would hear it all the time. Your drink is empty, stop slurping it. I will bring you another one. Stop slurping it, there's no more. The last bit of the drink is not even that great anyway. You don't need to slurp so freaking loud. Loud chewing, I don't know, I don't know where people were raised sometimes, but I was taught to chew with my mouth closed. Shouldn't be wide open, I don't wanna see what you're eating. Don't wanna see all the crap in your teeth, just This is what you do. Don't, like, just don't. People with gum, like, I don't wanna hear you smacking on that thing. Keep it in there, shut it up. Another thing I really hate is when people ask for advice. Don't follow the advice and then get mad at whatever the freak happens in their life. Don't ask for advice and then not take it and then be mad at whatever the hell is going on in your life. That is the most annoying thing ever. Especially if I'm going out of my way giving you the advice and you just completely which is fine. Sometimes people need to learn on their own, and I get that. I'm the same way. I need to do it on my own. I need to learn on my own. I will not ask for advice if I'm, I know at the end of the day I'm going to end up doing what I want anyway. Don't ask me for advice. I sit there and research. I sent you 20 paragraph essays, and then you take the man back. Like, I'm not doing that with you. I don't like that. Pet peeve. Don't do it. Another thing I really hate, pet peeve of mine, is when people touch or stare at my food and ask for my food. If you know me, I'm pretty greedy. I like my food and I like it to myself. Just to have someone come and just stare at it like they want it, like they're weird, they want my food, and I'm just like, you're not getting my food. Do not stick your fork into my plate. That is one thing I do know I don't touch my food. My food, your food. This is mine. Unless we're like sharing or something and we make it known beforehand, don't. That fork comes touching my plate, I'm cutting your hand off. That's it. And don't ask me for my food because no. Unless, unless we're sharing, unless we're being cute and sharing or something, but otherwise, don't 
freaking touch my food. Another thing I really hate, mouth breathers. Sorry if you're a mouth breather, but wow. Wow. Some people can't help it because like nasal problems, I guess, but wow, that is the one annoying thing. Like who just wants to... <sighs> Ew, like I can feel the heat on my back, especially if you're behind me or just near me. I can feel it, I could smell it. Sometimes your breath don't even stink, but like you doing that just makes me feel like it stinks and I will start freaking out. Ew, I can feel it right now. Don't do it, don't do it, ew, don't do it. Oh my gosh, another thing I really hate is when people will come up to you and be like, Oh, I have to tell you something, like it's so crazy, like oh my gosh. And then you're like, oh okay, cool girl, what is it? Cool boy, what is it, dude? Like, boy, like, tell me what it is. And then they tell you, Ugh, never mind, like, it's not, it's nothing. Like, never mind, it's cool, girl. And I sit there like, wow, no. You need to tell me what you were gonna tell me right now. Like, I need to know. No, never minds. Do not never mind me. Now I'm very interested. Now I'm curious. Now I need to know what you're thinking. What's going through your mind? Like, I wanna know what happened. I'm nosy as hell. Tell me what happened. Do not tell me, never mind, after you grasp my attention, oh girl, like this is so crazy, I have to tell you something. And then, never mind, it could wait. No it can't, now I need to know or I will die. Another thing that really makes me mad, and I used to do this all the time so it's so annoying, is pen clickers. Why do you click your pen? Like it'd be so quiet in the middle of a test or something and people are just like, why are you doing that? Calm down. It's like so annoying and it's crazy because I am also that person that'll sit there and click it. Like that's a nervous habit, especially taking tests and stuff like that. Or when it's just completely quiet, I just don't like quiet at all. I'll sit there and click it and I'll look around and I'm like, shoot, I realize that I'm that person, but I really don't like listening to other people do it. It's so annoying. Don't click your pen, especially in the middle of a test, because I will sit there and listen to you click and not take my test and then I fail and now I'm not graduating and now look at you. I bet you feel bad. People who put their blinkers on, slow all the way down, but then don't turn it off. I really, 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 really hate that. That happens way too much. They're stopping and going, like, you know when they put their blinker on and they're just like slowing down and you're slowing down behind them, like, okay, we're turning. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go around you and like, freak everyone else in the lanes, I'm just gonna slow down and wait for you to turn. And then blinker goes off and then you start driving again. And I'm like, okay. And then you do it again. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna slow down one more time, slow down. And then you do it, this happened to me yesterday on my way home from work and I'm like, do you know where you're going? What was the tag? I think it was New Jersey. Don't do that. I know sometimes people are like, oh, oh wait, wrong turn. Like sometimes you forget where you're going. I don't know, but like figure it out. Don't do it more than twice, because that's two times too many, actually, but two times is my limit. Like, any more than that, I'm going to speed around you, and I don't like doing that, because that's not nice. That is one way to piss off somebody. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to honk at you or whatever. I'm not going to even stare at you in your car, because I'm not that type of person, but I will be cussing you out in my head. So don't do it. Oh, I really, really hate this. I hate this so much. When you're at the club, you can be with your girls or whatever. And this is for girls, not for guys. Because, guys, this is about you. I honestly, truly, truly hate when a guy will come up to you and be like, Oh, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Whatever the heck they have to say. Whatever freaking, uh, what are those called? Whatever line he practiced before he came out that night. And then when you say you're not interested or you just... Honestly, with my face, you can kind of tell I'm not interested, so I'll just sit there like, okay, like, next. Do not catch an attitude and then start calling me ugly and stuff because I don't want to go home with you. Don't do that. Now you look like a butthurt little boy. I had one guy, I have a story. I have one guy came up to me, drunk as hell. He's sitting there like, he's walking to the elevator and he's like, he sees me, he goes. He walks up to me and I'm like, already backing up I'm like what <laughs> we're waiting for an elevator I'm like oh my goodness what do you want and he's like let's go on a date and I look at him I'm like uh no I don't want to why not you want a real reason why or like do you want me to lie to you right here cuz uh, why I don't know you you're drunk as it, you're, I don't know you I don't think you're attractive like uh, what else do you want me to tell like could I just said no and keep it moving like on to the next one there's like a million girls out here 
this man <laughs> then looks at me and he's like, man, whatever, and starts trying to walk away and turns around and looks at me again. He's like, I won't go and do nothing with you anyway because look at your feet. Look at your shoes. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I bet like two seconds ago, I bet you would have been licking all up on these babies. But now you don't want me because I don't want you. Now I'm ugly. Now my feet are ugly. Now my shoes are ugly. Now I'm just an ugly person. Like, you are a salty little boy. He was like 5'2", too, too. So I was like, you must be this tall to ride this ride. Like, no, don't do that. That's not cute. If a girl is not interested, it's not our duty to be interested, especially if you, like, I feel like guys feel like we need to be thankful or something for them. I don't know. But if you come up to me, spit in game or whatever, and I'm not for it, like, just thank you. Thank you for your time. Like, I probably will appreciate you more if you're, like, appreciate you for your time. Like, honestly, you have a good night with your friends, okay? Peace it up. More respect for you if you're that type of guy. But if you want to sit there, talk shit, and throw some crazy things at me, like, you look ridiculous and I will call you out on my YouTube channel. My last thing I have is I hate liars. Like, hate, hate, hate liars. It could be little things or big things, like do not lie. It, it makes trusting you so much harder, especially when you get caught. Like, why, why do you need to lie? Do not lie to me. At the end of the day, if you can be honest and real, it's more points and props to you than someone who can sit there and lie literally about anything. Hey, what, what are you doing? Like, oh, just watching TV and you're at the movies with like a bunch of your guys. I, I don't lie. Don't lie. It's not cute. It's not cool. More respect for you for always telling the truth. Don't freaking lie. <laughs> Don't do it. It's all my pet peeves slash things I hate because I think I said both throughout this entire video. It's just I didn't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of threw it together last minute because I really wanted to post a video on um, the things I really just don't like. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it because I do appreciate that a lot. Leave some comments down below and let me know if there's anything that I could be doing better. I don't know, more video ideas because I'm honestly, I'm starting to slow down because I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. And subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that as well. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.